Whenever I posted travel videos online, you guys have inundated me with messages about what I'm eating on the road. It seems to draw a lot of attention and so because I had a recent delivery of my stock that I do take on the road, I thought it'd be a really good time to just really open up the box and show you guys what it is I buy and how much it costs. So let's jump in. Every year the UK army finds itself with a surplus of supplies, either because it's going out of date or because the products are imperfect. This means that they auction these off to the highest bidder, which are often surplus supply stores where people like you and me can purchase them. Now there are a lot of companies online that make boil in the bag food for adventuring, which I had looked at in the past, but in my experience they charged around five to seven pounds a meal, which is just too expensive. Instead, I choose to buy a crate of army food for £114. Each crate contains 10 military bags of food and each bag contains around 5,000 calories for the road. So let's open up a few and take a look. The contents of army ration packs vary greatly and I do believe they have about 15 different menus. However, you're always guaranteed to get these specific items in every single bag. And they are a utensil kit, which contains things like hand wipes, tea, coffee, milk and sugar, dental gum, a spork, tissues, matches you'll also always get four packets of energy drinks a packet of jam and a hot chocolate which is honestly just the highlight of your life when you're traveling on the road onto the food you will always get free square meals in every single army bag plus a variety of snacks and even dessert although i'll be honest it's mostly questionable dessert So let's take a look at bag number two. Of course, you get the usual utensil kit, energy drinks, hot chocolate, and so forth. But with the meals, I somehow managed to get four in this bag, plus the cake, nuts, biscuits, and even cheese spread. With bag number three, skipping the usual accessory items, again, I had three square meals, plus some nuts, some fruit, jam, biscuits, and again, some cake. To bag number four, this time around, I got a cold breakfast, plus two hot meals, as well as cake, oat biscuits, peanut butter, nuts, and even some sweets. Now, when you buy the kits in bulk, you also get sent these additional utensil kits, which contain things like tissues, wet wipes, water tablets, and even a waterproof bag. Now, if we just examine the meals contained in these boxes, overall, you get approximately 30 ready meals in a single box. With the box costing £114, it averages out at £3.80 per meal, which is substantially cheaper than the meals on the market that you find in camping stores. And guess what? When I examined certain products like the chocolate cake, for example, across all the brands, they all had the exact same traceability code on them, meaning that all the contents come from the exact same company and the exact same factory. The only difference is that I'm paying a fraction of the price by buying ex-military rations and also you have a lot more meal options. Now, it must be pointed out that when you buy old military rations, it does mean that you do have a shorter shelf life on these products than the ones you'd buy in the store. However, you only have to eat 50% of what you buy to not lose any money. £3.80 a meal is a great bargain, and this doesn't even take into consideration the extra things like cake and snacks. When you start to factor in all of the snacks as well, it means that you're actually paying £1.58 per both meal and snack. I'll be honest guys, the meals aren't the most visually appealing, but when you are in the middle of nowhere and you are very tired, they are an absolute blessing in disguise. I know that £114 is a lot of money to pay in one go, but it's the age-old economic dilemma of pay more up front and save a lot more on the road. Because ultimately, although it is a lot of money in one go, if you continue to use this stuff right up until it's shelf life, the amount of money you'll save by not buying from places like petrol stations and fast food joints or, or even falling for local tourist traps means that you'll have a lot more cash in your pocket by the end of the year. 
I hope that a lot of you found this video really helpful and insightful into why I'm buying this and how much money I'm saving by doing it this way. I hope you guys also consider the idea of doing this for your next trip because I do feel like it's a really good way to save cash and also we are cutting down on our waste overall which benefits everyone. So until next week, ride safe, stay crazy, my name's Safi Sprocket, signing off.